only knew us. We the Israelites. We the people of the book. That's why they killed us in slavery if we learn how to read. But what we learn how to read? We learn how to read this Bible. That's why Nat Turner, he learned how to read the Bible. That's why he's going back, taking back his lands that belong to us. We the chosen people of the most high, but we don't know that because we've been duped. We've been fooled and we've been lied to. All the way except to for us, man. Me. Colossians chapter 1, verse 14. And whom we have redemption through his blood. Yeah, his blood was shed for Israel. We the Israelites. We the people of the book. Can't nobody just prove this. Else they'll be shutting us down. We all over the world. Why don't they come forth and shut us down? If they're teaching the truth. Preachers, these pop child beating preachers or theologians, whoever, man. Me. Even the forgiveness of sin. Even of the forgiveness of sins for us. We the ones need to be saved. Right. Wake up, people. That's why they come in to wake you up, man. But y'all got too busy thinking about the massa. Don't you know they put us up on us over here on slave ships? That it was written, if we don't follow both sides laws, they're gonna put us in slave out of a slave ships in Deuteronomy 2868. Here we are right now. Y'all got a chance to ride around and, and walk around, walk up and down in the, on the big plantation and take you something because you got a nice car, you got a house or whatever. Come on, man. These people that's so rich, man, that you can't even think about it. And here y'all is satisfied with the little bit that they're giving you. You're able to get here in this damn plantation, big plantation. Free. In debt, right. Free. For by him were all things created. By the Mashiach double shot were all things created through the power of the Most High. Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Me? That are in heaven. Everything that's in heaven. Me? And that are in earth. Everything in the earth. Me? Visible. Visible. You see that? Things that you can see. Me? And invisible. And things that you can't see. He made things that you can see, and he made invisible things. This is our power. This is what he did. That's why sometimes y'all walk around here, they say, oh, that dead job fool, you might see something out of the corner of your eye. It is something. It is something that is invisible, that he created, that could become visible. Whether they be thrones, or dominions, or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him and for him. All things were created by him and for him. Through the power of our power, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, to the glory of the Most High, man. Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, St. John 14 and 27. That's why it's very important that you understand these scriptures. Very, very important that you understand these scriptures. That's what we come for, to give you understanding of what this Bible is talking about for you. Salvation is for you. But it's amazing to me how, before we can even open our mouth, here, here he come up here talking about salvation for the white man, or he gonna bring salvation to us as a people. Y'all feel it? I don't feel no, no salvation. Nah, no, I don't even, I don't wear the world in my life could I feel that that's gonna happen. They don't even say that they believe that a white man gonna come from heaven and set up righteousness on the earth. When we ask them personally, now how you gonna feel that? Because you the weak and you dumb down. You just straight down, down. They got you so down, down, you don't even realize who your enemy is. Come on, wait. St. John, chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. What you need. We need his peace. We created everything, visible and invisible. But my shot, y'all was shot. We ain't, and now you don't have this because you run around worried about this, worried about that. You had no faith. Not as the world give it. I'm looking for the peace from the world. Looking for somebody to give you peace. You got to get peace from somebody. Somebody got to accept you. Come on. Somebody got to accept you. Yeah, just like him. Yeah. You went right over there, went right to a white man and hugged him and kissed him. And the white man looking at him, what I do, what I do? I ain't did nothing. You know, and probably go, like you said, go home and try to talk about it. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Give I am to you. Let not your heart be troubled. And don't let your heart be troubled. Don't let your mind be troubled. Really? Neither let it be afraid. Don't let it be afraid. Really? Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again. Said, hey, don't be, don't be worried and don't be afraid. Because worry gonna cancel out faith. 
and the, and the most I don't give us the spirit of fear. So where are you getting that from? All from the left hand side, Satan. From the devil. He got you feeling like that. Boom. Ye, ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, you will rejoice. Because I said, I go unto the Father. For my Father is greater than I. There it is. He said, if you love them, you rejoice. He said, because his Father is greater than him. How could it be the same? He said, he's going away. Rejoice, because he's not. But do this. St. John, 14 and 1. He left. He died for the children of Israel. His blood was shed for the children of Israel. Who you are, the majority of you that's here in South Central. Store, store right he died for us. He shed his blood for us. But you don't know that because you've been duped. You've been fooled. You run around, don't even know who you are. Most of you don't even know your national. I got 39 different names of who a brother is. So-called Negro. So-called black man right here in America. 39 different names, man. That's lost. But he said, don't worry. But don't be afraid. Because he's going to prepare a place for us. Listen to what he said. St. John chapter 14, verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Once again, he said it again. Don't be troubled. Don't be worried about something. Anything. Don't be troubled, he said, me. You believe in the most high power. Believe also in me. So you believe in the most high? power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he said, believe also in him. Okay? And my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. He said, in his father's house are many mansions. He said, if it wasn't so, he would have told us. Wait, this is what he said. I go to prepare a place for you. He said, he's going to prepare a place for who? You. For you. Who is this you that he went to prepare a place for? Everybody? Every nation? No. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. So you're going to come again. If you go and prepare a place for us, you're going to come again and receive one third of the 12 tribes of Israel, these people, unto himself. See? That where I am, there ye may be also. Right. Say so where he's at, we may be also. Now get Joel 27. And let's deal with it. Joel 2.27. So he said he's going to prepare a place for you. And where he is, we're going to be right there with him. So let's see how he's, it's, said, it's written in the Bible concerning who was he around. Me. Let's get, uh, because he was just around us. Get uh, Acts 2, 21 and 22. But he was asked uh, the Old Testament. Let's go to the New Testament and see the same thing. Because he was not around everybody. When he came on the earth, he was born under the tribe of Judah. The real so-called Negro who walked the earth today. The Bible says his feet like in the fine grass were burned in the furnace. That's the great gospel. He had hair on wood. You know, when John the Reverend seen him, and John, you know, Revelation 1 and 1 and 13 to 15. It tells you a description of it. Read. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on and call on by Hashem shall be saved. So he said, Whosoever shall call on his name, he said, You ask anything in my name, I will do it. Read. Hey, what's that, Brian? Ye men of Israel. Who? Men of Israel. Uh, that's the Jew. Who's the Jew? Men of Israel. Ye men of Israel, be. Hear these words. Okay. Hamas, Gavashai of Nazareth, 
that men approved of the Most High among you. What? Among you. Among the men of Israel. Not everybody, not every nation. But he was among the men of Israel. Really? By miracles and wonders and signs which the Most High did by him in the midst of you. What? In the midst of you. Okay. And you are also as you yourselves also know. It's only in the midst of us. But if you don't know that you are the children of Israel, and you've been taught lies that you're a Gentile, grafted in, but you don't know who you're grafted in among. We're the chosen people of the both side, and if our kingdom is prepared for us, we got next forever and ever and ever. Just like the so-called white man's ruling the world now, his world is coming down. The dollar bill, the economy, everything's coming down, man. And we got next. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. If you love me, you will be rejoiced. Because he said he's going to prepare a place for us. Why we can't have salvation? Yeah, we want other nations. They got their part in our salvation, just like we got a part of their salvation. It's their salvation right now. We got a part of their salvation right now. They running everything. We have nothing. When you look at our people on a, a wide scale, some of you might have something, you think it's something, but it's nothing compared, thank you, sister, on a wide scale. So are we telling you the only way you're going to get this is to come back to the Most High Laws, chapter commandments, and repent, asking for forgiveness, for forgiveness of your sins, because you're not taught the laws of the Most High. When you're taught here in America, you're not in the law, but you're in the mercy and grace. And if you're a Gentile, you ain't getting no mercy and grace. Straight up, because the mercy and grace is for the Israelites. The 12 tribes of Israel, who you are. But you don't know that because you think you're a Gentile. You're lost. We are the lost 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we are. But we don't know that because we're thinking that we've been grafted in among somebody. Yeah, they came and got us, and they programmed your mind to think the way you think, man. You've been Edomanized. You think just like our slave master said you're going to think. Because what curriculum did you learn in school? You learned his curriculum. But when we tell you this, all of a sudden now you say we're racist, because we for you. We for our people. Ain't nobody else standing up for you. Nobody else standing against the evil doers and workers of iniquity. So when we stand up for our people, then we the first ones y'all want to come against. And they steady, make milk and all the money they can out of you. Everything, you're nobody economy. They're milking everything they can out of you, and you sit there going against us, and we for you. Who's standing up for us as a people? Nobody. Nobody. That's why I say he's going to prepare a place for us. We need to be saved. And we're going to be saved through the power of the Most High and the Messiah God of Shai. That's right, whether you like it or not. That's right. Whether you want, you want, all you want to be with them, stay with them. Burn right with him. This baby gonna burn forever and ever and ever. Right where everywhere you see, no matter where you go in America, this is spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom. Sodom and Gomorrah. And captivity, slavery and bondage for the children of Israel, right here. That's why the most high gonna put a whole lot of y'all to death, man. And you deserve death because you don't love your people. The most high give me uh, Romans 9 and 13. Listen. How are you going to say you want to make it to the kingdom and you even love your own people? We come to talk about our people. First thing we get is talking about the white man going to come in and set righteousness on the earth. Give me a damn break. First thing, we can't even set up yet. He doesn't come talk about the white man. He, he came down here, a God in the flesh. The white man, are you serious? Man, I ain't never heard that one. That's the first time I heard that in over 20 some years. I ain't never heard that. One. Israel. He's Israel. You might see Jacob. 
You might see Israel talking about we, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we are. We the people of the book. Let's read what happened with Jacob. Ready? Genesis chapter 35, verse 7. Verse 10. Verse 10. And the Most High said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. This is what the Most High, who must have double shot through the spirit, said, Hey, he wrestled with an angel, man. Angel took his hip out of out of joint, man. Say, y'all name is Jacob. Read. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. This is what his name was changed to Israel. Read. And he called his name Israel. He called his name Israel. And we as being his lineage are called the Israelites. We come from our forefather Jacob. The most I done told you that he's the power of Abraham, what a son named Isaac, what a son named Jacob, who became the Israelites. He said, Your name shall not be Jacob anymore, it shall be Israel. 